Eran Energia is the Eran Group company that operates in the electricity production and distribution, thermal energy production and technological services sectors. A major producer that has inherited AEM Torino's in-depth experience in the energy field. A hundred years of history that have accompanied and supported the growth of our country thanks to a development policy that is also attentive to the economic and social promotion of the territory and the safeguarding of the environment. Iran Energy's entire energy production output continues to derive from renewable and other similar sources, such as cogeneration associated with urban district heating. An extraordinary journey that began in Valle di Susa with the first hydroelectric plants of Salbeton, Chiemonte and Chiemonte Susa, developed in the second decade of the 20th century. And it is in the Valle di Susa that a new key chapter has been written in the history of renewable energy sources. The Pont Ventoux Souza run of the river hydroelectric plant regulated on a daily basis. This plant, located almost entirely underground, was developed by adopting cutting edge technological and plant technology solutions. Extending along 27 kilometers, the plant has two tanks, one in Val Clarea for daily regulation and one in the Gorge della Dora for demodulation. It also has a cavern electricity plant that houses two production units with an installed capacity of 150 megawatts, which can produce over 400 million kilowatt hours of electricity a year. At Pont Ventoux, in the Oux Plain, the waters of the Dora are collected and channeled towards the free surface Tail Bay, which runs underground for 14 kilometers, one more than the Fréjus Tunnel. The Tail Bay, which has a maximum capacity of 33 cubic meters a second, connects the intake construction with the Val Claria daily regulating tank, which has a capacity of 571,000 cubic meters. A pressurized channel over four kilometers in length begins from the Val Claria tank, and this is followed by a 1,300 meter underground pen stock, which, covering a height difference of 500 meters, arrives directly at the two production units located in the cavern plant. The majestic atrium of the plant can be reached via a 1,200 meter long tunnel that is open to heavy traffic and opens onto the road that leads to Colle del Moncenisio. We are at the first of six levels, amounting to an overall depth of 50 meters, almost the equivalent of a 15-story building, where the two transformers of 15,000, 132,000 volts are located. The lower floors host the machine rooms and two production units, a binary unit, comprising a turbine and an alternator, and a triple unit, turbine, alternator, and pump, for a total electricity capacity of 150 megawatts. The energy produced in the electricity plant is introduced into the national transmission grid via a two kilometer long high tension underground electricity line. Having produced energy, the water is collected in the Gorge de la Dora demodulation tank, which has a capacity of 442,000 cubic meters, and then released downstream in the natural course of the river. This operation is carried out along a 1,600 meter return flow canal tunnel, which connects the cavern plant with the Dora Riparia tributary. The water accumulated in the Gorge de la Dora tank can once again be transferred to the Val Claria tank thanks to the nighttime pump action of the triple production unit. 
This allows for the production of valuable energy, concentrated during the daytime when demand is higher. The decision to continue to focus on hydroelectric energy, the renewable energy source par excellence, once again underlines Iran Energy's intention to successfully combine the production of green energy with respect for the environment. Pont Ventoux Souza, a plant that would also inspire the admiration of the pioneers who constructed the Valle Orco and Valle di Souza plants at the beginning of the 20th century. <laughs>